Good day everyone! It has been announced by the PRC or Professional Regulation Commission pursuant to Memorandum Order No. 98 Series of 2023 dated December 28, 2023 that in the implementation of the Continuing Professional Development or CPD Act of 2016 where CPD compliance is a requirement for the renewal of Professional Identification Card or PIC and the non-acceptance of CPD undertaking will start on January 1, 2024 as per PRC Resolution No. 1577 Series of 2022. It would mean that all professionals shall comply to this implementation, and for that, I will show you how to create or register an account in the CPDAS or the Continuing Professional Development Accreditation System of PRC. First, open a web browser and enter the URL cpdas.prc.gov.ph. You will be directed to the PRC CPDAS website. To register, just click the Registration menu and select Professional Registration. Then, Terms of Service will pop up. Just simply click Yes to continue. You will be asked to input your personal information with a note that input should match the details in your Professional ID card or the PIC. Complete all the required information, then click Next. The next part is the account registration. Input your active email address and your desired password. Password must be more than 6 characters. If you're done, then click Next. Then, for confirmation, check all the details before submitting the application. Make sure that all personal information and the license details are correct. Then, click Submit Application, then click Proceed. It will confirm that you have successfully submitted your application to register an account. You can now log in using the account details you have just registered. It will then show you the dashboard of the system showing the list of programs you have attended and the total CPD units you've earned. Under the My Other Activities for Accreditation menu, it will show the list of application for CPD credit units. Under the Profile menu, you can review your profile as well as update your information. You can also change your password under the Change Password menu. So, if you want to apply for CPD credit units on the trainings, seminars, or webinars attended, just click the plus icon on the Application for CPD Credit Units button. A CPDAS advisory will appear. Just read the important advisory. To continue, just click the close icon. You can then now apply your certificates that are not yet accredited by CPD PRC. You can also check in the list of accredited CPD programs by clicking the link provided. Also, it will show you the list of various general requirements. You can then upload a PDF format of the compiled certificates and other requirements.
They also provide convenient ways to pay. Just simply select a payment channel. Once you have compiled and complied all the requirements, you can then submit your application. You can also check the link of the list of accredited CPD program from accredited CPD providers. You can check the different trainings, seminars, or webinars you have attended to check the CPD units or number of hours it will credit. Once your application for CPD units are approved, it will be shown on your dashboard. You can then apply for renewal if you have complied to the number of units required. Thank you for watching!